Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a zombie horror film, The Guard Post. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a transmission telling us that there's a guard post on the front line inside the Korean demilitarized zone. The soldiers stationed there are to serve three months in a maze-like bunker with all arms on deck. The scene shifts to the visuals of the same bunker, but it's been abandoned now and a fresh platoon of soldiers make their way inside. The soldiers scan the area looking for clues, but aren't able to find anything of value. However, they eventually walk into a room filled with dead bodies soaked in blood. Among these bodies is a bloody man named Kang, with an axe in his hands. The soldiers threaten him with their guns, but Kang simply laughs like a psycho. The next scene shifts to an army chief named No and his assistant, who have just attended No's wife's funeral. Both men are in a car discussing No's son's future, but then they learn about Kang being discovered at the bunker. As expected, Kang is assumed to be the culprit behind the murders, so No decides to get to the bottom of it. Meanwhile, a soldier is ordered by his commander to send the recovered bodies as well as Kang to headquarter, despite the investigation not being completed. Now No makes his way to the scene of the crime and is escorted to the murder room. On his way, he notices a soldier running from the room feeling sick, and he also spots a message written in blood that says, Kill them all. No proceeds inside the murder room and spots the bloody mess everywhere. There he meets the tasked soldier and asks to meet the doctor handling the investigation. After a brief introduction, doctor leads No to Kang, who is in a state of unconsciousness. However, nobody has been able to identify him just yet. The soldier explains that headquarter wants the body sent over as soon as possible, but No says that he has full operational control of the situation and all personnel, so nobody will do anything unless he says so. The soldiers continue to inspect the bunker, looking for clues, and one of them finds some blood dripping from a pipe onto his uniform. Despite the soldier's disgust, No urges his men to continue with the inspection. He comes across a bloody cake and also locates a dog tag. No continues to snoop around and finally finds a photo of Kang, who is now revealed to be a corporal. No is now certain that Kang had killed all the soldiers in the bunker. The soldiers go outside and take account of the bodies, but learn that they only have 19 bodies, which is one body short, not counting Kang. Doctor wants to leave the building and reach headquarters, but No maintains his authority and tells everyone to unload the bodies for a recount. Doctor doesn't agree with this, but complies with No's order. However, there are still only 19 bodies, even after the recount, so No allows Doctor to leave with these bodies. He orders his men to search for the missing bodies, but it's not a smooth ride, as even the sniffer dogs don't want to enter the bunker, possibly because it's too smelly. The soldiers don't know why this is happening, and they joke around by saying it must be because the dogs are in heat. In the night, one of the soldiers gets disturbed by the sound of the dogs barking, so he kicks the gate to tell them to shut up. However, he hears an angry growl and gets spooked out. The soldier goes to check out what's instigating the dogs, so he approaches the kennel area with a stick. However, he finds the dead bodies of the dogs and a soldier munching on their smelly flesh. The soldier panics upon seeing this and runs away while crying like a chicken. Meanwhile, No goes through Kang's diary, but notices that the pages have been ripped off. A skinny soldier named Skinny chats with No and reveals that all the soldiers' personal weapons were kept in the armory and not the barracks, hinting that one soldier was controlling all the weapons. Skinny also expresses some suspicions because he hasn't seen any racks there, which shouldn't be a common sight considering all the bodies lying around. Suddenly, the siren is sounded because the soldiers have found a paranoid survivor in the generator room. No manages to calm him down, and then he apprehends him. Now the survivor is sat down for some questioning, and he reveals his name to be you. He claims to be a lieutenant of Guard Post 506, so No asks the other soldiers to leave him alone for now. He asks you to cooperate for information, but you isn't ready to talk just yet. No takes a break and gets a call from the commander, who orders him to send you to headquarters immediately. No ignores his orders and cuts the call because he doesn't want to hear more bullshit, especially the smelly one. However, when he asks Skinny about Yu's whereabouts, he acts clueless. Realizing that Yu might try to escape, No rushes to his room and finds him eating the pages from the diary. No loses his mind and fights Yu. After that, he has him cuffed by Skinny. Yu is locked up, but he says that No won't believe him, even if he tells the truth about what happened in the bunker. No orders Yu to tell him why he denied his soldiers their weapons, but he simply says that No will figure everything out once he has the answers to that question. No doesn't like to indulge in such riddles, so he sends you away in a jeep. After this, Skinny finds a video camera in the food storage room and gives it to No. The camera seemingly shows a birthday celebration, which explains the bloody cake that No had found earlier. 
Suddenly, the video switches to Kang, who is saying that he must kill everyone in his platoon. Meanwhile, Doctor and his men face an obstacle on their way to headquarter, because there's a landslide that's blocking the road. Yu's jeep also catches up to them, and it only adds to the confusion. In a flashback, we see some soldiers, including Kang, who are checking out a gun on top of the bunker. They learn that this bunker is around 300 meters away from a North Korean guard post and start to fool around. However, Kang accidentally fires the gun, and it leads to counterfire from the opposing post. This causes the soldiers to get punished for their silly actions. Their short commander named Dwarf particularly lashes out at Kang because he's the one who fired the gun. Kang is made to do all the chores in the bunker, including cooking, but he is still shown to be a decent man. Back to the present, Skinny reaffirms Kang's character, stating that he shouldn't be capable of such gruesome murders. However, neither he nor No can't say much, because the pages of Kang's diary have been ripped out, presumably by you. In the quest to uncover the mystery deaths, No finds Yu's diary and starts reading it. Another flashback shows you discussing an incident with Dwarf. It turns out that some of the soldiers, led by Commander Ma, had gone into the woods, but have not returned. A search team was prepared to find Ma's men, but they come back injured from their trip. Dwarf goes on to mention another incident after that, where one of Ma's men fell to the ground with abscess flowing out of his mouth. At night, Mei himself seemingly transforms into a zombie, and his buddy gets spooked upon discovering him. He falls off the building because of this, and then some other soldiers are attacked by zombie Ma. The soldiers survive the attack, but one of them dies right after Dwarf completes his flashback to you. Back to the present, No sees Doctor and the others coming back to the bunker because of the blocked road. Doctor asks for a cool place to keep the bodies, but then Kang starts shaking aggressively. Doctor tries his best to save him, but it's of no use as he passes away. There isn't much that can be done, so Doctor and No inspect the other bodies for some clues. They can't find anything of use, so Doctor tells No not to damage the bodies any further. Suddenly, they're alerted about you acting aggressively, so they rush to his jeep. Yu wants to get out of this place, but No drags him out of the car and tells him to act like a lieutenant rather than a crazy man. No eventually convinces you to sit down with him and Skinny so that they can learn what actually happened at the bunker. Yu explains that he had to lock up Commander Ma's men in order to control the weird occurrences at his bunker because they only started after Ma's men came back injured from the trip to the forest. Yu mentions one such occurrence where one of the soldiers started smashing his own hand in the bathroom and in front of his naked colleagues. Then, Yu questions one of the zombie survivors about what happened with Commander Ma, but he panics after seeing Zombie Ma approaching him from behind. Zombie Ma knocks out Yu, who isn't looking, and then he goes on to kill the survivor while he's unconscious. That's why Yu confiscates everyone's ammunition and puts them in the armory for safe. Back to the present, one of the guard soldiers collapses and has to be treated by doctor. Meanwhile, another soldier starts to feel itchy, but spots a suspicious room. He inspects it, but the door slams behind him, and he can hear a pounding sound. However, it turns out that Skinny had spotted the soldier killing one of his own colleagues, so he rushes to No to tell him about this. No and his men catch the soldier and apprehend him from the suspicious room. No and Doctor realize that the soldier's been infected with a zombie virus, as can be seen from the marks on his skin. In another flashback, Yu, Kang, and Commander Dwarf face off against Commander Ma's men, who are infected with the rage virus. Kang manages to calm one of them down, but the soldiers accidentally kill Dwarf in the commotion. Yu wants to arrest Ma's men, but he's out of bullets, so Ma's men revolt and capture him. Later, Yu manages to kill one of Ma's men and breaks free from his imprisonment. In the present, Doctor tells No that they must protect their soldiers from whatever this zombie virus is supposed to be. After that, No goes through some more clues in the diaries and suddenly learns something important. He rushes to find Yu, but he's not in his room. Yu sneaks into the van, where Kang's dead body is resting. That's when we learn that he isn't the real Yu, but rather, a medic in the military. It turns out that the medic was lying about everything, and the real Yu was the man who had killed the survivor because he was infected with the zombie virus. We learn that the real Yu was also the one who had gone out to the forest and not Commander Ma. However, the real Yu made the medic rewrite his diary to mislead the others. In the present, the medic is spotted by an infected soldier, so he tries to kill him, but the soldier turns into a zombie. The medic traps the zombie to the ground and rips it in half. He tries to escape from the bunker by driving into the gates. However, No and his men catch him in the act as his escape plan fails. The medic gets apprehended, after which No reveals his true identity. However, the zombie attacks one of the soldiers, despite being ripped in half. No shoots at the zombie multiple times, but can only kill him after a headshot. The medic gets locked up, and he thinks back to the time the real Yu was caught by Ma's rebel army, who blamed him for infecting everyone at the bunker. 
During this flashback, Kang goes to meet his friend, but finds an ugly zombie and fears for his life. However, Kang is spared by the zombie because he's infected as well. Kang finds his buddy, who is also infected beyond cure, so he kills him with crocodile tears in his eyes. Back to the present, Doctor inspects all the soldiers to see who all are infected. Meanwhile, the medic tries to free himself, but struggles to do so. Things get tricky, as the infected soldiers raise their guns against the other soldiers. One of the infected soldiers turns into a zombie, so a human soldier shoots him out of fear. The medic manages to trip the lights, and this leads to a hardcore shootout, with some of the soldiers getting killed in the process. However, one of the infected survivors doesn't feel any pain, despite losing his arm. No goes to check on another infected soldier, but sees that he's completely fine now. No thinks that the zombie virus simply goes away after some time, so he confronts the medic whose infection has become quite prominent. No angrily scolds the medic, and says that his men could have survived if they knew the virus would go away. However, the medic says that he doesn't care, because his own men didn't deserve to die like mad dogs. Later, No spots Soldier Skinny, who has unfortunately become infected. No gives him a warm hug, but sends him to meet Jesus in cold blood. Frustrated over the virus, No decides to kill everyone, so that the virus doesn't spread any further, just like what Kang had done. Doctor is against this, but No reveals that both of them are also infected. No gets to work and kills the medic, after which he pours kerosene all over the bunker. Meanwhile, the other soldiers hide their rashes and convince themselves that the virus is fake because they don't want to die. However, they smell kerosene and hear about the medic's death. The soldiers suspect No and confront him while he's pouring more kerosene. They threaten him to stop his insanity because they want to get out of this hellhole. No is outnumbered by the soldiers, but then Doctor comes to help him out. A fierce shootout follows where most of the other soldiers are killed, but Doctor runs out of ammo and gets shot as well. After all the madness, it eventually comes down to No and one other survivor. They engage in muscle wrestling, but No gets killed. The survivor tries to escape the bunker, while a backup team arrives at the scene. The survivor opens the gate to the outside world, but triggers a bomb that No had set as a backup. This ends up killing everyone inside the bunker, and the backup team takes protective measures. The movie ends with a flashback to Kang, recording his final words on the tape recorder, where he talks about the zombie virus, and says not to spare anyone from this bunker. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.